G'day everyone, welcome to another edition of Craps Down Under. Today I'm going to continue building a bankroll, but what I'll do, I'll actually colour this guy up from our last session. This is our reserve bankroll, so rather than uh, keeping all these uh, chips like this, I'll get three blacks. Alright, so three blacks. And I think it was 33 from memory. 33. All right. Yep. So 33. Awesome. All right. So that's our reserve. I'll keep him there. This is what we're going to play with today. Move the stick out the way. All right. Um, what are we going to do? Let's do the same thing. Actually, take it out of there, take it out of there. Oh, I do need to get an extra one. Oh. All right, so what are we going to do? Work or not work? I might just see what the table's going to do. So, get some dice. All right. Let's uh, let's be off as we are by default, and we'll see what we get. And we've got a six. So six is the point. So now we're working. And we've got a nine. We're not on the nine. So two rolls. We've got a six, so shooters hit their point. And we get our 15 for one. And I'm going to press, take two from our rack. We kind of took three because we needed to we needed to pay the dollar to get the 15. So we've basically taken three from our rack to get ourselves pressed up. So this is a new new shooter. Uh, sorry, same shooter setting the point. Now, given the shooters basically set the point, roll a nine, hit the six, I'm actually gonna give, the benefit of, give them the benefit of the doubt and actually see if they set another inside point. They could still wipe us out with a seven. Um, you know, who knows what will happen really. Uh, we got a seven, so there we uh, just did our profit and our original original uh, bankroll so that's a $34 loss actually plus 30 plus $3 so that's a $37 loss actually so um, all right put that back in a rack I'll I'll be off as we are Still a come out, so we got caught by the by the seven. Uh, she just rolled a five, so five's the new point. So now we're going to work, and this one I'm actually inclined just to get the one hit and then try and uh, uh, minimise my exposure. Given that we're now on the second point of the shooter, we're a few rolls in now, so I've got to start thinking about turning off and he's got us twice that shooter so really really nasty nasty kind of combination there in the way it, the way it came out because we got caught on that come out and then we didn't get anything again so this is what I talked about in my last video um, very quickly you can plow through your bankroll with those sevens um, Very, very quickly plow through the bankroll. So there's a seven. All right, so for the shooter, I'm going to work. And we've got a six. So last video was great. We just one shooter and bang, bang, bang. He just gave us all our profit. Uh, this one's almost the opposite. One shooter's literally <laughs> taken uh, 60, 70 bucks out off our hands. So um, kind of the opposite in a way. All right, so there's our 15 for one, and point is the six, which 
I should remember to set the point. All right, so I will press and need to put my caps on there. We don't need the lamina. All right, so we're all set, hoping to get that second second uh, inside hit, and we got it. And the shooters actually hit their point. All right, so that gives us 21. All right. So I'm actually going to stay working and I'm not going to actually regress. I'm actually going to try and, uh, given the shooters set the point and then hit it, I'm actually going to try and um, recover a little bit from where we were last time, nine, because we do need to recover some units. So the new points are nine. Again, it's an inside number, hasn't thrown any rubbish yet. They've rolled a five, so that gives us another $21. So that helps, helps us to uh, recover um, that bad run. Now we've collected $42. So we are still um, ahead for the hand, even with what we've got on the felt. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Now, if we take this down, we can take two units off each. So we're going to basically pull down 30, 30 units if we uh, take down and just regress down to the bottom level. Um, I'm still inclined to just give this another roll. Uh, nine. So the shooters made their point. All right. So now I've got a choice. Do I want to work or not? I'm actually inclined to not work given where we are in the hand. Uh, yo. Back-to-back uh, -back yo's. So, a bit of rubbish coming out. <laughs> and a deuce. So, that's three, three lots of rubbish. And they're back on that nine. So, whoops. Dice rolled there. It was on the three. 639. So nine's the point. Now's the question, do I want to work? I've kind of lost a bit of a uh, little bit of faith in the shooter now. So I'm going to just take it all back. And I'll just work the minimum. So that's taken out my pressed up profits and I'm just down to, to a basic amount now. Uh, if you look in our bankroll, we're literally back to square one. So we've recovered our losses and um, we've got a little bit on the felt. Nine. So shooter likes hitting their nine. All right, so this is another come out roll. By default, we're off. So I'll stay off again. Uh, five. So shooter's on the five. All right, so now we're working. And we've got an eight. All right, so do we want to press or do we want to collect? That's the question. So um, given where we're at, I'm just going to collect. Uh, I'm actually inclined to pull back this guy and just play the six and eight. And there's the seven. So we lost, lost a little bit there, but kind of had an idea the seven was close. All right, so where are we? Um, so we're up about $13, even after having a pretty bad start and getting smacked, smacked a few times, we actually got back, got back into a positive territory. All right. Well, remember, we are a little bit down because we're 30. Sorry, so I'm not, not exactly right. So I'm assuming we had a $300 bankroll. We actually had a $333 bankroll. So now technically, we are down still. So that's my bad, forgetting that we had that little booster. All right, so do we work or not work? I'll be off by default for this shooter. Um, I might get some new dice. You shoot a new dice coming out. We've got a five. Five's the point. All right. 
Come on, shooter, show us what you got. Now we're working. I want to see something good. Mm, that's not good. That's rubbish. It's ace deuce. And six. Yay. That's what we want. All right, so we get our 15 for one. Um, now the question is, do we want to press or do we regress? I'm actually inclined to just regress, try and sort of consolidate. Um, what could be short hand, could be a long hand. Um, no one knows, but if the shooter keeps rolling insides, then um, we can always press our bets up. Yo. And there's the seven, so not great. Um, it's funny how the yo preceded the seven. Seems to be once that once you go off the box numbers, um, disaster doesn't seem to be too far away. But I think that's just um, confirmation bias. All right. So do we work or not work? I'll say I'll stay off again. Stay off. The table's not really a warm table. It's. Uh, It's middle of the road, it's a bit choppy, I guess. Uh, where are we? Nine. Sorry. Eight. Eight's the point. Okay, so we were off, now we're working. And we've got a yo. And we got eight. Came hard that time. So shooters hit their point. I need to pay the dollar for that. So should have hit the point. Um, gonna gonna press. Need to get some more whites. Alright, so work or not work. I'm gonna work Yo, all right, well, I'm gonna keep working. Okay, now I'm not gonna work. <laughs> all right, we're off. Not liking that. And I got a five. So the point's five. Now after seeing all that, do I wanna stay pressed up or not? Um, yeah, I'm a little bit, little gone a bit soft on this shooter now, so I'm a bit, mm, I'll give them one roll. If they don't get what I want, I'm then going to go back down to base level. We've got an eight, so they got there. All right. So we're all going to go back down to one unit. Take all our profit, put that back. So we're basically, uh, that's 20, 25 ish there in our rack. So we're, with what we've got on the felt, we're actually technically ahead. So got a little bit, little bit of profit now. So hopefully we can get a couple of hits. Uh, six. All right. Whoops. There we go. Let's just drop the chips on the ground. All right, so what do we do? Do we uh, take one back? I think I'll do that and just run with the six and eight now. Nine. Five, so shooter's got their point. All right. Alright, I'm just going to work. Just inclined to, inclined to have them working. Six. Alright. So here we're just collecting. Um, 
we could pull down if we think the shooter's getting towards the end. Maybe they are. Maybe I'll we'll just pull down completely. Let this shooter run out. Ten. Five. Ten. So we're not on the ten, but um, certainly that sometimes the work playing the outsides can actually, because they pay better, uh, can be worthwhile. So we kind of did the right thing to take our action off, because the shooter got the seven. I'm kind of getting towards the end there. All right, so I need to uh, get rid of some of these whites. See where we're at. There's four whites. That's all we need. Um, Colour these two up. Just want to see where we're at. Alright. One, two, three, four, five. There's 30. One, two, three, four, five. So we're 25 ahead basically. 26. There we're, we're 26 dollars. In the profit. So 26 bucks in the profit. Um, let's uh, let's do a new shooter. I'll be off. Four three seven. eight all right so eight's the point so the shooter might be inclined to roll sevens given they've already thrown one <laughs> yeah how do we uh, kind of said it but um, I didn't uh, didn't act on it did I I left my uh, action up and that's a uh, honeymooner and the honeymooners are kind of the worst they set the point seven out they're the kind of worst so that was our, our First bit of profit. Now we're back into our bankroll. Um, just got above water, hit above water, and then got smacked. So, all right. Sometimes it can be a bit of a grind. Um, need to get some new dice, new shooter. All right, I'm going to work. And we've got a five. Five's the point. And we get our 15 for one. And I'm going to press because I want to try. I need to get another few whites. Oh, I need to get some units back. Make some profit. Nope, not going to be. Now it's meant to be a 49%. You know, it's a fifth, basically a 50-50, but um, I'm kind of noticing that the, the hands are going very, very short. Now, that's two really short hands, um, basically the same. Set a 0.7 out. That's happened twice in a row. So um, I'm actually going to go go up double this time. to get a few more whites. Alright, take two back. Alright, so I'm going up a little bit. Alright, so I'm going to work. Doesn't mean we won't get smacked, but three so that's not a nice not a nice thing but that's okay we'll, we'll work anyway and we've got six all right so we got we got a hit there so we're gonna get 28 um well on what I might do I'll get fives I don't want to get paid that way I want to kind of get the reds 
keep them on reds. All right, so I'm going to go back down to just two units. Oops, just going to need that. So we want 28. So in that one hit, we've kind of covered a lot of our bankroll. Uh, we're not quite there. Um, and Sorry, five was the point. All right. Three. And seven. So, still getting smashed by these short shooters. So, it's pretty tough when you get ultra, ultra short rolls like that. It's really tough. Even regressing down, you still didn't quite quite get there. So I'll do the same. Four units. Put the caps on. Alright. We'll be on. New shooter. And we've got an eight. All right, so 23, oh, sorry, 28. So I'll put it in a rack. I'm actually gonna stay there. Um, was that, that was eight, I think, wasn't it? Um, I'm gonna stay on six. Because we do need to make some money back. That's three. Now I'm going to regress this down. To the two units. Because we've definitely paid for everything. Alright. And eight. Uh, we get 15 this time. Got one. All right. So I rest down again. Now I will have to take those greens back because I find it very difficult to track where we're up to. Um, yeah, I will get those back as. Reds. All right, so we're basically back to where we needed to be. All right, so let's just work this guy. Seven, so I got caught on the seven, but that's okay. We made made plenty of profit. Still very very short short runs, but we definitely are uh, back above our initial buy-in. There's twenty. We're just above it, maybe maybe exactly actually. Thirty, yeah, we're literally two dollars ahead. <laughs> so we're two bucks ahead. All right. So let's do the uh, the four unit again. And all right, four there. All there. All right. So this one I'll be off. Get some new dice. Seven. Does it come out seven? If I remember, we are off. Right, five. All right. 
So we're hoping to get one hit here. We're working. And we got a five, so shooters set the point and hit their point. And that gives us our twenty-eight dollars. Um, I'll pay it, sorry, as reds. All right, so now we can uh, regress down to two. So I've got two there. All right, so let's be on. Nine. Nine's the point. Six. Okay, so we got a second hit. $15 for one. So this one's been a real fight, this... Uh, this hand, so regressing down, in a real fight this one, all right, six again, all right, now we have a choice we can press, uh, but I'm actually inclined to collect the first one now, just being a little bit greedy. Eight. Okay. All right. So we'll press this one. So dollar in our rack, and got caught by the seven. So that's okay. We did well off that shooter because the shooter didn't just PSO straight away. Now we are playing light side. It's a little bit hard when they. PSO all the time, or they're rolling lots of come out sevens. So, uh, where are we at? So I'll just check, make sure I haven't got any extra green there. Yep, so what our 200 there, 300, and 25, 30. So I might put that there to keep it keep it separate so we basically got 20 there and we've got a whole bunch bunch here so we'll go back down to playing two units so we kind of had to fight back there for a little bit and that's why you have bankroll let's say so you can actually fight back um, I won't bother coloring them up yet so what are we going to do? We're going to work. Let's work. Midnight. Okay. All right. I'll go one more go. And he's got a nine. Okay. So nine's the point. Wasted one roll on some rubbish. And we've got an eight. So that's kind of what we want to see. So there's our 15 for one. All right, so I'm just gonna regress, regress now. So we've got a little bit of profit now. We're just playing on the one, one unit level. Uh, 10, doesn't affect us. Now if you want, you can do something like that if you think the shooter's gonna roll 10s. Uh, you can certainly do do that. Uh, there we go, we missed the five. We'll just see. And we've got a seven. So we missed uh, missed a unit of profit there by moving away. But if you do see um, repeaters, there's nothing to say you need to stay on the three there. You can certainly move to move to those ones as well. Alright, so go at the four unit level because I'm aware that we've been playing a fair while and we're just not getting there. It's been uh, eluding us the whole time. I've been, I feel like we've been sort of just getting smashed 
and it's time to kind of make some money. All right, so I'll be off this time on the come out. Seven. And we've got a nine. All right, so we're working. We're looking for one hit. Nine, shooters made their point. All right, that was a quick one. We'll work this time. Put this guy on. Six, so we got our hit. So I'll pay it out the long way. Because I want to get this 28. Just go down to two units now. Alright. Four doesn't affect us. Shoes on the outside. Let's see if they get on the inside again. Ten. They're on the outside again. So, kind of, hmm. I'm going to give a one roll, but I'm not liking it. There we are. Eight. All right. Here we go. Fifteen for one. So, let's regress down again. Uh, let's see where we're at. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, thirty. We're we're basically there. Um, in fact, we are. I don't think we need to really do anything more. Uh, I will uh, take those three, maybe. That was what we started with. So, more than enough. So, we got there. There's our 60, 75, right? So, we've made our target. Uh, we did have 330, but 10% is, uh, that is 33, uh, 66. So, we've well and truly made 70, um, what do I say, 60, 75, um, yeah, basically $74 because we should have three over here. So I made 74 bucks, that's good enough. I'm done. That was a fight, that one was a real fight. So we're getting uh, blasted there, whoops, getting blasted there. Now what I might do, I might colour this guy up here. Alright, so that's our, that kind of keeps us uh, closely mirrored to, to basically what we've got here. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take half our winnings. Um, that over here put this in over here so if we uh, actually I'll put that and color it up actually not quite enough okay so a little bit more over there uh, okay so if we look here, we should have one, two, three, four, four. So two fifty, sixty. We've got 
two seventy there, so I've got three hundred and seventy dollars in our bankroll. So bankroll is definitely building, and we've got the same in our in our backup bankroll. All right. So three seventy two, and here just to be clear, we've got three hundred. Let's colour him up. Well, knocking over chips. Sorry about that. All right, so it's 350. Uh, 60. Not quite there. Um, let's, uh, let's do that. Yeah, give him the. Yeah, get rid of the whites. That's nice. So three seventy, and we've got three seventy here. Perfect. So that's our backup. So as we're building our playing bankroll, we're building up our backup. We basically just split the profit between both of them, and we'll just keep doing that for a little while until we get enough where we can go okay we we, uh, we get to a point where we got a we can actually have two bank rolls and start building on our third our second backup bank roll uh, that's kind of how I like to be I like to have a few bank rolls uh, basically funded uh, because if we do have disaster which is absolutely going to happen at some point we're going to get a disastrous roll and get wiped out of our session bank roll it, it's going to happen at some point there's I have no doubt about about that because you know dice can do some crazy stuff sometimes but we've got two three hundred and seventy dollar bank rolls uh, which is actually pretty pretty cool uh, that's uh, let me get that up that's uh, seven hundred and forty dollars so seven hundred and forty starting from a hundred and uh, given we've already taken our hundred dollars out um, and plus twenty percent profit you know we're actually in a really nice position given where we started. So I'm really happy with how we've um, built this up. I'm actually relatively happy. I'm not playing it perfectly. I don't think you can play it perfectly. Uh, but I did have to start raising my bet levels to try and fight back after we had some a bunch of losses. So I did do that, and that's how we were able to, re to recover our losses using fewer win event. Uh, so you always got to think about you're going to have so many loss events and so many win events. Now we know where 70 30 is, a, is the kind of equation, but for some reason you can just get lots of sevens come and sevens come at the wrong time, those sorts of things. So you know that 70 30, um, yeah, and sometimes we're missing out on some of those roles because we're often to come out, you know, if they set a point here, well, that's kind of one of those roles that we've missed out on. So that kind of does have an effect on the actual math. So yeah, but for whatever reason, um, you know, you can just have a sevens come at, at a bad time and they can certainly cause damage to your bankroll. So you have to kind of at some point fight back and get, because you're just trying to get the same, you know, the math will say you get so many win events versus so many loss events. And if you just get, if you're just playing the same level the entire time, you, you can basically potentially just get ground down to nothing. So if you don't increase your bet at some point and actually win more when you win than you lose when you lose, then you'll never get ahead, right? You'll just be kind of grinding around and eventually, you know, the house edge will just grind you down to nothing. So the point is, is that's why we increase our bets to recover our losses through fewer win events gets us back into the profit. Now that doesn't mean you, can, you can't get smacked again. Of course you can. And that, that's kind of what, you know, at some point there'll be a point where we might just get, you know, get smacked, smacked, smacked. We up our bets, we get smacked again. We up our bets a little bit more, we get continue to get smacked, and that, that's where you end up going through your bankroll. So, but we were still st still pretty healthy. We we didn't even get into our into our couple of hundred here. We're really only into this this first part, this first hundred and thirty dollars. So, I think we were, um, you know, pretty pretty safe in the way we were playing. We weren't doing anything really silly or anything like that. So I'm aware this has taken a little time this video to get to get it get through it, but we got there in the end, and now we've got two three uh, three hundred and seventy dollar bankrolls. So I think that's a great 
great position to be be in, uh, given well given the starting point of $100. So appreciate you watching, and uh, we'll see you again very soon. Bye for now.